What's up guys, Dar Sizzle here, and in today's video, we go offshore fishing and we head out to catch beautiful deep water snapper, also known as vermilion snapper, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to catch these guys on the hand crank, how to clean them, and how to cook them. This is vermilion snapper, AKA Beeliner, catch, clean, cook. Hooked up? Yeah. Holy cow. Ryan's hooked up just like that, guys. Uh, all right, guys. Woo! Real, 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 Randall. Keeping my line down. We're just out here, guys, fishing out of Stewart, Florida today. And it's been a while since we've been out here, like three or four weeks. And again, we're happy to be out here. We got a little break in the weather. So I'm gonna try to get over here and help Brian see what we got on the line. Woo! Get him! What do you think you got? Uh, Holy cow! It's going Mike's straight got down. Sharked. Doubled over. Oh, just got yeah. sharked. <sighs> Getting worked over here. Gone. <sighs> yeah. Get him, Sizzle, Get him. All right, guys, Josh is on the first fish. Well, you had a fish too. Yeah, I had a fish, but I lost it. You got sharked. But uh, Josh, you on the real fresh? Let's go, Sizzle. Wait. Wait. What's doing it? Oh my god! Glad you glad! Glad they ate it, they ate it! What was it? I don't even know. Holy goodness. You gotta get faster. I, was, I thought you were gonna grab the loop. Off the freaking, I was trying to bring the rod back. I didn't even see the Goliath following it. We're in, we're in 75 feet of water. Freaking thing came up to the boat. Yeah. Jeez. No joke, dude. They're hungry. The mud. Whoa, look at that shark down there. Oh my God. Can't get a fish past him. Wow. No matter how fast you reel, that was a keeper. He was close. He was close. Tell him what we're doing. We're doing something a little different. Yeah, we're out a little deeper today. We're um, fishing Push Button Hill, which is a common spot down up here in Stewart, Florida. Bunch of boats out here, and we're like, why is everybody out here? So we decided to come out, and I'm dropping down a chicken rig to the very, very bottom to see if we can bring anything up. Hopefully, it'll be some delicious fish, but I'm not going to jinx it yet. Doing a little deep drop, hand crank. Yes. <laughs> My spool is going empty. Definitely fish right here. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, we're getting hit. I'm getting hit. <laughs> reel him in, reel him in. I don't know if he's there now. Keep reeling, woman. Older to get him halfway up. Now I got a fish on. He just came back and ate it. Woohoo! Nice. Now let's make sure he stays on. He'll be on. And yes, I'm using the rod holder, guys. Don't yell at me, please. So you got 400 feet of line out. Yeah, I'm gonna bring it up as soon as I just get it a little past the bottom. I'm also scared of sharks out here in the deep water. Goliaths. Whatever wants to eat my fish. What do you think it is? Is it gonna be a vermilion? I hope so. I hope it's something I can eat. That's what Putin says. Come on, see, look at that fish up here. It's been taking you so long. I know. Get my muscles warmed up. Oh, I got two. I got two. Two. Oh, oh, oh. Beautiful. Pull them up. Yeah, buddy. Those are That's gorgeous. About. <laughs> We're about to limit out on vermilions. <laughs> Check that out. So I had one on, and then I dropped it back down again, and I think that's when the big one came on. But. We found the spot after losing a, quite a bit of rigs this morning and weights and just a lot of money worth of gear to the uh, Goliaths and the sharks. We decided to come out deep and that's what just goes to show you. You got to see like where other boats are fishing and what they're doing. And there was a good amount of boats out here and we're just like, well, we should go try it out. So, and then we've been rigging up and dropping baits. And unfortunately I've lost a couple weights out here already and rigs already, but you know what? paying off because we're learning a new spot and we just caught our first ever beautiful vermilion snappers on our boat 
Look at nice. that. Nice, those are pretty. They're so pretty. That's a keeper. That's a keeper. That's a stud right there. They yeah. get a little bigger than that. Let's see what else we can get into. Heck yeah. Let's see. This guy got blown up. His eyeballs yeah. are sticking out. Nice job, Sizzle. Yay. That's awesome. On the hand crank. Those are 400 pretty. 400 feet down. Yeah. Whoop. All right, nice job, though, Sizzle. So we're actually, this is a very popular spot out here for deep dropping and such and, and trolling for tuna and things. And we're at Push Button Hill out, out of Stewart. And we can put that on the Fish Angler app, but it's going to be on all your charts. And, you know, you can Google that. And uh, I just, I made up a chicken rig out of 40 pound fluoro. That is just a loop on the bottom, two, two dropper loops spread out apart. And you can just Google how to do a dropper loop. And uh, depending on the current, you know, we're using like a 20 ounce weight right now. And just mark some spots. Yeah, so you just gotta change and move your weights depending on like what's happening. But for instance, like I was using a 16 ounce initially and I just had a really long scope and a huge belly in the line. So that's when I decided to, oh, you're not filming. You're not filming. So I am filming. Oh, let me leave it. <laughs> Keep going. All right. Yeah, so when we first got here, I decided to start with a 16 ounce bank sinker. Drop that down and I realized the scope in the line and the belly in the line was way too much. You don't, you want it to kind of sink straight down with your braid on your, uh, on your main line. Braid cuts through the water better than mono, so always use braid when you're deep dropping. But after I realized that, I switched up my weight and we went to a 20 ounce and we caught some fish. So that goes to show you, you just gotta constantly switch up the weights and figure out what works. I'm ready to drop, Sizzle. Right. And then uh, she drops it and I keep the, I'm trying to keep the boat in, in the position. The major just started. Major just started. You can Here find your, the moon phases on the first angle up, of course, as well. Actually. Oh. Nice. There he is. Nice. <laughs> this is walking back. <laughs> there he is. All right. Want me to drill, drill some? I'll reel this and you reel next. <laughs> oh, this, this looks like this, it's bigger fish. That's why she wants to reel. <laughs> See how you get fishing muscles, y'all? This is how you get fishing muscles. Uh, Sizzle, you're wearing half a bikini. That's, that's not allowed. Too bad. So sad. <laughs> <laughs> She's terrible. Sizzle, you didn't even put your fish away. I know. You know you're a real fisherman when you like, got to like step over all the fish to catch more fish. That's commercial style. That's commercial style. <laughs> exactly. It's coming up. That's what he said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, you know, I love Darcy. I don't know what the hell. She, I, don't, I don't know what exact. I don't know what is mentally wrong with her. But she, she's the only person that ever laughs at my jokes, besides my sister, and likes my dancing. So I, it's true love. There you go. Nine years. <laughs> Almost. Color, color. It looks we got like two. two. Let's throw them back over here. We got three, two. Oh, they're nice. Oh, they're nice. Keep going. No, no, no. Oh, they're nice. Get them, baby. Those are nice. Oh, they're nice. Those are lunkers. Oh, dude. Heck yes. <laughs> <laughs> we figured it out, y'all. We figured it out. That's awesome. You're reeling up that 20 ounce weight in about three to 400 feet of water. And these are a quality vermilion snapper, also known as beeliner fish. And they are just the tastiest things out here. And so, so pretty. I mean, look how pretty they are. They yeah. like to live in deep water. You kind of have a black mouth in there. Yeah. I, mean, I get some good film on that. Look how later. pretty. Yeah. So pretty. Mark and Fish should be picking up soon. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No yeah. Nice. She's hooked up again. We got one. Yeah. Keep reeling. Whoa, this got a little heavy there. Oh, it's a stud, dude. Yeah, I told you. Freaking stud. But it is a stud. Oh. <laughs> yeah, buddy. That's how Puddin' does it. Yeah, buddy. No way. Dude. dude, is this the biggest vermilion you've ever seen? I'm eight feet tall. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> your fish? And there are fish on too. <laughs> nice. In the rocks and the fish. Oh my God. Well, that's a lunker. Get him, baby. You got him. baby. Jesus. Oh, gee whiz, Look at dude. the size of these millions, bro. Is that one bigger than the other one? I hope we have another 20 ounce weight. 
Look Holy at the size moly. of that freaking vermilion, bro. <laughs> Heck yeah. Need a new rig and a new weight? That's okay. You need a rig? What's wrong with your rig? It's ripped. Oh, okay, the good. The weight's gone. All right. All the, all the hooks are gone. Minor, major moon phase going on right now. It's a stud. Yes. Okay, now I got one. Okay, I got it. <laughs> what the hell was that? Oh, did you get the clicker on? You, had, you hit it with your thumb. Oh, okay. Want to get it for me? Try and help me and so he rails into fish. I'm trying to, I'm not helping you, you're too weak. Girls can't reel in fish you for 400 feet You gotta catch your feet. limit, so keep reeling. <laughs> I already caught my it's limit. Hard, it's a tough taskmaster. You can see all these boats. They're all right here. They're way closer than it actually shows. That's a baby. Baby, baby. It didn't feel like a big one at all. It's still put 12. It down, put it down, put it down. <laughs> They're gonna come right by us. <laughs> these boats are like right on top of us right now. Yeah. If they see their sizzle catching the fish, and they gotta come over here. You got him or no? Yeah, it's not big. What? It's not big. It's okay, either am I. Wait, no. I think he's gone. What? I think he's gone. All right, put it down. Oh. Real. I got him you that time. Set, you gotta set the hook better than that, girl. I got him that time. We're blocking our fishing from these guys behind us. They're getting Pretty closer and closer. Couldn't be any closer. They're just like doing my same drift. You're gonna get our limit. Limit it out, guys. So easy. Limits. Easy. Here we go. I see something. I see one. Nice, decent, medium one. Oh, he's not that big. It's it medium. A lot bigger. That's okay. Let's go. Two more. Oh, here we go. Here we go. That's Whoa. A nice one. That's a nice one. Real, Randall. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so now I'm a jerk. The captain was just bringing the people over here to see Darcy, which I knew, because they're big fans. <laughs> and now I'm an idiot. And then Darcy didn't want to switch rods to like mid reeling to bring it up because he thought that would make her look weak. Yes. Oh, we just dug real good. Well, I'm a bad person. Darcy's a nice one. I'm like an idiot. I'm from New York. I don't know what to tell you. I do. Anything that we have to do that's like, I don't know, mean or have to be mean. I always have Brian do that. Yeah, I have no feelings, like literally. <laughs> don't tell them that. <laughs> Me on the other hand, I'm, I'm way, not, I'm not I'm saying way that, too but nice. Like, if someone's wronging you, I, I, I'm an attorney for 25 years in New York and like all kinds of offices and like, I, I just got no problem bringing a hammer down and I don't, like, I don't get upset about it. I don't know. That make me a bad person. Comment below. <laughs> fighting good. That's a medium. They're fighting good. That, that is like a world record size, but for us today, it's a medium. Yes. It's a medium. All right, so we got one more. One more, let's do this. All we right. got it. So here's the rig and how we're baiting them and what we're using and all this good stuff. So make sure you have your trusty bait breaker knife, which is the best bait knife ever for your boat. Stay sharp for like ever. I've never sharpened this thing. That's actually true. It, it literally is true, I'm not joking. <laughs> but check it out, you'll use my code DarkSizzle15 with 15% off plus free shipping for the holidays. So we got our squid here, and that's just the thawed calamari squid that you buy at the bait shop, and take your knife and just run it straight down the middle. You're gonna make strips of squid, just like this. I learned this from Captain Pete, so shout out to Captain Pete, I know you're watching. And make that cut, we'll make another cut here. Now I have most my hooks filled with bait right now, but I'm just gonna give you an example. So this is a J hook actually, or a big game hook, J hook from Mustad, three aught. And you can see with these strips, what you're gonna do is, you don't want the vermilion to steal it. So the way you're gonna hook these is you're gonna run it on there and then you're gonna back it, run it through there again, turn it around and just keep doing that until you get it all on the hook and it's just buried on there. So that way you kind of, Rehook the strip multiple times and it's harder for them to actually just take it off because squid is the easiest bait for fish to steal Then that's how you do it. And I also have another big game J hook on here This is 40 pound fluorocarbon leader tied with dropper loops and they're about you know a foot apart or so yeah, um, You see right here 20 ounce weight um, And then we got those attached with our dropper loops. These are a little close, but you know what it's working and then we got a circle hook here, and you know, and you guys know how a circle hook works. Fish usually set the hook on that. So just gonna make sure that all these are rebated, and then we're gonna drop it straight to the bottom. Oh, and don't forget, 
my leader is about three, four foot long, and then I've got a swivel attached to my top shot on my uh, bottom rod. All hand crank, three to 400 feet of water. If some of you guys are wondering who tied that awesome chicken rig. Not me. That's my sc <laughs> high school level from pudding. It's on the fish tank. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. Okay. He's on there now. Yeah, he's on there now. Oh, he's digging. Nice fish. All right, final fish coming up. This is how you get big muscles, men. <laughs> this is going to be the lunker of the oh, day. Oh, he's really digging. Maybe you're just weak. I ain't weak. You better stop looking at me and start reeling that fish. You got a lunker on there, girl. This is gonna be a world record. Hand crank. Captain Pat's gonna be, uh, Captain uh, Peter is gonna be so proud of us. Yes. I think it's one. It's one monster, though. It's a freaking, looks like a mutton that's so big. Oh, oh, <laughs> yes. Yes, he ate the circle hook. Exactly, because I'm the man. And you're telling me to set the hook on a circle hook. Oh, hell yes. That is a Oops. nice one. I didn't mean to curse. <laughs> Heck yeah, dude. Hold them up so the fans can see them. I'm gonna post on the fishing alert app exactly the details of where we're doing this we and know. how we're doing this and all that good stuff. That's a nice fish. Beautiful. They're so pretty and they're so delicious. Very similar to a yellowtail snapper as far as taste. Let's dive right into filleting this snapper, y'all. I've got my seven inch blade today and just like any other fish I would fillet, pretty simple. Just nice clean cuts, but I also want to mention really quick, here come the holidays and here comes Black Friday and all awesome stuff coming up ahead. But I want you guys to check out my website, darsizzleoffshore.com for awesome custom made sterling silver necklaces that I hand make myself, just like this beautiful sailfish pendant that I'm wearing. And don't forget about the stone crab claw necklaces that I also make myself out of the stone crabs that we harvest. So if you're interested in stuff made by me, as well as my 2021 calendars, my awesome fish hook and anchor bracelet, all these things I sell on my website, custom made to what you would like. I would highly appreciate it if you guys go check it out. They're great stocking stuff for gifts and great gifts for the outdoors person, men and women alike. All right, so we're just making this cut. And this fish is actually fairly easy to fillet. Um, they're, they're not very tough like a mutton snapper. They're actually very similar to like a yellowtail snapper. And the meat kind of falls right off the skin. It's just delicious, kind of falls apart in your mouth. It's so amazing. We're just gonna flip it over and do the same exact thing real quick, knock off both these sides, and then just make that cut. Go up, turn your knife around, make that cut, and then go straight down the back, of course. And I just love the flex in this blade. I can really follow the bones really well. And you just kind of feel with your knife where you're cutting. And just, just like this, I'm using the blade, getting nice and close to the edge, and getting all the meat as possible. And don't forget about the codes, guys, for these awesome knives as well, because you guys always ask me what fillet knives I'm using. My code, Darcizzle15, for 15% off your purchase, plus free shipping on Smith's website. And they have a lot of awesome knife sharpeners, like that diamond steel one I've got right in front of me. But awesome stuff for everybody hunting and fishing alike. And now let's knock off this other side and then we're all set. We'll skin this bad boy. This is a really nice vermilion bee liner. I'm actually not sure why they're called bee liners, but that's another common name for these guys. All right, there we go. Just knocked off both sides. He's done. Same exact knife. I'm just gonna go ahead and skin him. Pretty easy to skin. Just get right close to that skin there and then just slide it right down. Now, I know this looks weird to y'all, but I'm left-handed, so sorry. Get that pin bone out. Boom, done. Beautiful vermilion snapper filet. That is a beautiful filet right there. That is gonna be one heck of a meal. All right, guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish up this fish, finish up the rest of the fish since we caught our limit on the hand crank, and then I'm gonna meet you guys in the house for the cooking with pudding portion of this video. All right, guys, another great job, though, Sizzle, playing those fish. Welcome to another edition of Cooking with Pudding. I want the red hat on. I <laughs> no, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Fail. I gang busted this today. All right, so Darcy flayed those fish real great. And she, she flayed them and she, cut, she skinned them. But what we did 
was, and here's a quick rundown on how I cooked it, okay? And you can use this recipe for almost almost any fish, okay? Any snapper. This is a snapper fish. Simple. In a snapper family. Simple and fast. I literally made it up from what I had in the refrigerator or in the, in the cupboards. Anyway, so we did it on a half shell, which means you leave the skin on, okay? Uh, I just sprayed some of that Pam stuff on this big bacon pan. I put all my fillets on there or my half shell fillets on there. And then I just brushed on some butter. Really delicious, very good. And then uh, salt and pepper. And Darcy gave me some stuff from her garden. What did you give me? Uh, garlic chives. Garlic chives, awesome. <laughs> I threw those on there. And then you need a little bit of acid with everything. And instead of lemon, we had tomatoes. So I threw some tomatoes on there. I uh, baked it in the oven at 350 for 15 minutes. It's a thin uh, flays. It cooked really fast. Darcy, you can see over here, is pounding it down. It flaked right off the skin, no mm -hmm. problem. It's absolutely delicious. I poured extra butter on top. Darcy didn't see that. I mean, it's super delicious. It just fell right off and all the blood, the bloodline stays on the actual skin. So right. you don't even, you just get the delicious meat right off the, oop, I got a scale there. <laughs> but you just get that delicious moist meat. It's just out of this world amazing. So good. Can't wait to go catch more snapper. <laughs> It was a lot of fun, but thank you guys so much for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it. All the links to everything we talked about is going to be down below. Please continue to pray for Megan. I just would really appreciate it as always, guys. I know you guys are, but continue to pray for her because she needs all the prayers we can get right now. All right, guys. So until our next adventure, follow, follow your dreams, dreams and, and keep, keep on, on catching. catching. I didn't even drink a beer yet. <laughs>